not topless. You had your badge you up not topless. An interaction was caught on video over the weekend. So they're literally wearing tops. This unfolding at a beach in Golden Valley widely understood as a free from clothing kind of place. I'm just chilling, enjoying a day of not doing community work, trying to relax at the beach. We saw a drone go up. We didn't think anything of it because everyone has those now. Maybe like 10 minutes later, we hear, we think police are coming. Ticketing my two friends. And cue this video of Golden Valley police officers taking information down from Christian Calbert and her friends, saying it's illegal to be topless. We're, we're like, no, we have our tops on. So like, what illegal activity do you have us doing? And she said, we have it on video. And another one of the male cops pointed up. He's like, yeah, that drone that was flying around, that was us. They were wearing tops. They weren't earlier. When was that? When was that? When the drone was flying over there and we watched all of you. Oh, OK, OK. How did you feel about the fact that they had drone footage of you and you didn't know about it? Uh, Scary. I don't like that. If you come up to me right now and tell me 40 minutes ago I was doing something, but you won't provide any proof, but that's enough for me to get in trouble. I don't think that's okay. Calbert says because the beach is technically in Golden Valley and lacked signs, she says she didn't know it was part of the Minneapolis park system. Right now, as it stands, it's illegal for any person 10 years of age or older to intentionally expose his or her private parts, including all parts of the female breast. It's ridiculous when I turn around and there's a gentleman who has boobs that are as big as or bigger than mine and he can keep his shirt off and we're doing the exact same thing sitting in the sun. I'm like, you say it's a sexual organ, but it's not because we're not sexualizing it. Some did say, though, when it comes to children in parks, it might be a conversation guardians need to have. It's up to parents and kids to have conversations about that. That's how we start to break down archaic thinking. We were all under the impression that it was legal. Calbert says she's hopeful that at least the Minneapolis Park Board would get rid of the ordinance. So the vote that the Minneapolis Park Board is taking up tonight is not that simple. It's not a one vote and done kind of deal. It's actually one of three votes that they need. The final reading and vote will happen in August. Jana. Sharon also reached out to the city of Golden Valley's police department for comment. They say they will be drafting a response and we'll pass that along when they provide it to us. We'll be right back.